They got a bigger line than we do, too. Uh, you know, I don't think we have to worry about it, though. If Dean can hit Andy with a couple passes, we'll be in. Yeah, yeah that's that's right. Right. All right. Hey, uh, you guys, uh, you guys want to hear something? That depends on what it is. Of well, course, this is too good to keep. The other night, I was out with Susan Harper. Susan? Yeah. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. You're not going steady with her, are you? No. Oh, well, in that case, uh, I stay at home from the library. And Susan said that? Yeah, that's what oh, she said. No kidding. No. Yeah. Hey, there's a bell. We better well, go. I got a you guys. Uh, See you back in I think he's just bragging. I doubt if he even had a date with Susan. Mel's the kind of guy who'd say anything to get some attention. See you, Frank. This looks pretty good. Why don't we stay right here, Susan? Fine. Let's see. I'll ask you some questions from the end of the chapter. Then you can ask me some. Okay. Ready? Why is force a vector quantity? Because it has both magnitude and direction. That's right. Uh, now, uh, what instrument is normally used for measuring force? That's the next question, Dean. What instrument is normally used for measuring force? Susan, did you go out with Mel Stone? Why, no. Why? I just wondered. He gave me a ride home from the library the other night. That's all. I don't like him very much. He kept telling me about all the girls he'd been out with. Here, I think you better ask me the questions for a while. Okay. Let's see. Well, here's, here's one. Why don't you give me Newton's first law? Oh, I hope I can remember that. <laughs> Page 80. You know you're boning up on the wrong thing, don't you? The test covers pages 70 to 80. That's what Miss Adams told us. Yeah, I know. That's what she told everybody. But I took the test second hour this morning. I can tell you what the questions really are. I suppose the honor system applies to everybody but you and me. <laughs> okay, I was just trying to do a friend a favor. Excuse me. I see Marilyn, and I want to give her back the pen I borrowed. Bye, Dean. Bye, Susan. Boy, she sure is a nice-looking girl. She's nice, period. Oh, hey, Dean. Hey, Dean. Uh, how's football practice coming? We keep at it. Yeah, I was, I was watching scrimmage the other day. You, you look real good. You know that, that long pass you threw? Uh, how long was that? 35 yards? I don't know, it might have been. <laughs> yeah, it might have been if Andy caught us. You know, I'm, I'm crazy about football. Oh, I always have been. I used to play it all the time when I was little. Only thing, I stayed little. But, you know, I never got over liking it. I, I bet I know those plays as well as you guys do. I mean, I watch them that close. It's very interesting. Yeah, that's how come I can spot it when somebody's not doing his job, like, uh... Like Andy not catching that pass? I wonder, I wonder if the coach knows Andy's breaking training. What do you say? Yeah, I thought you'd be interested. I thought you'd like to know where the foul up is, because you can't win that game with East High by yourself. And Andy's letting you down. Listen, Mel, you start spreading guff like that around, and I'll personally shut you up. It's not guff! It's true, the other night at 10.30 I saw him walking down Jefferson Street, and he's supposed to be in bed at 10. Yeah, as a matter of fact, that was the night I took Susan home from the library. Ask her if you don't believe me. How I was coming back from taking her home when I saw it. I think somebody ought to tell the coach, don't you? I told you, if you start spreading anything against oh, Andy... Well, why should I tell the coach anything? It's your team. Oh, forget it. Okay, suit yourself. I still think you ought to tell him. Hey, hey. 
Go, gang. Put one. Put two. Take it easy, Andy. We'll get it next time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> 